Hi, welcome. You found a site that offers a course in economics. Course in economics? That sounds intimidating. There's this thing, this huge process, this thing called the economy. And it seems to be understood only by experts, credentialed experts, who deal with matters far too complex for ordinary citizens to comprehend. Just trust us. Pay your taxes. Do your job if you have one. We'll handle things for you. But if you gather up your courage and look around you, you see that the economy is not being handled well. Not at all. I'd say you were brave to click on that link in the first place. Maybe if we could figure out the right questions to ask, we could start to make sense of all this. I'd like to share an exercise with you. I've used it in the classroom many times, at the beginning of a course that really helped people come to grips with economic issues. It will help us to identify the questions to ask if we want to understand economics today. We started by asking people to name today's most serious economics problems, faced by you, yourself, or by your community, or by all of society. I dare say you'll recognize them. Well, all right, let's put down some of those problems that the folks in the class have shouted out. Any old way they come to us, and see where that leads us. The big one, the one everyone says first, poverty. You'd think we'd be able to get rid of it, but we don't seem to be able to. Pollution. Yes, how much of it can we allow? How much damage can we afford to do to the planet? Taxes. It seems like a big old fine is slapped on every good thing people try to do. Meanwhile, what about recessions? Every time they predict they won't come back, not this time. And yet every time they do. Low wages. Workers get more productive every year. Why can't they keep more of what they produce? Perhaps they need more education? It's the key to success, we're told, but with such low wages, how can we afford to pay for it? Perhaps we should start a small business. That's the backbone of the economy, the largest job creator. And yet every year, more of them fail than succeed. Climate change. Does that worry us? Are we causing horrendous, irreversible changes? Is that a risk we want to take? Meanwhile, what about the immigration issue? Are they taking our jobs? Or are they just willing to do the low-wage jobs that citizens don't want? I suppose it's all a matter of foreign competition. They call it the race to the bottom. I guess the jobs offering good pay and safe working conditions are just too expensive. Housing. Very expensive, eh? The American dream of home ownership nearly became a nightmare in the great crash of 2008. Is it all a matter of corporate greed? Does the rapaciousness of the 1% have to be curbed before it's too late? Health care. Now is that a right or a privilege? Who pays for it? How much of it can we afford? There's one you've forgotten so far, and it's a big one. Unemployment. It's always there in the background. But why? Could it be because if everyone gets working, they'll all have a lot of money to spend and prices will go up too fast? Or could it just be a problem of the waste and bloat of our huge, big government bureaucracy? You said it, though. If we don't have big government, who's going to provide and maintain the things we need to keep our economy going? I submit to you that this is the mental picture that most people get when they hear the word economics. I know, right? You can start to see a few patterns emerge. Some of these, for example, might be thought of as having to do with inequality, issues of fairness or justice, which might be called left-wing or blue state issues. Such things might be considered opposed to issues of economic freedom, government intervention, things that hinder free enterprise, which would be seen as right-wing or red state issues. Then there are some that everybody's worried about. 
This means that we often think of the economy in terms of a whole bunch of terrible trade-offs. For example, the one between inflation and recession is well known. But let's say we have an effort to aggressively deal with climate change, but it becomes expensive and maybe will hinder production and add to unemployment. And we all know we need better education, but we're also all taxed enough already. So with all that in mind, here are the four questions that this course will seek to answer. This has got to be the first one. If everybody could satisfy his or her desires, if nobody had to go wanting, everything would be hunky-dory, right? We all want things. We're willing to work to get them. We look around and see unemployed worker, idle land and buildings. Why can't the economy keep moving forward? Will we be able to get the things we want without overloading and ruining our planet? Are there just too many people or too much inequality? Depressions and recessions have been part of the economy for more than a century. Is there just no way to find gainful employment for all our workers? So there you have it. Those are the four questions that this course seeks to answer and a little bit about why they're so important. I hope that piques your curiosity and I hope it makes it seem a little bit less intimidating for you. Let us hear from you.